it's on. But oh well. Things don't work here well. So, which one? The 78. Okay, so that was um, something that we discussed during the during the week, and it was, um, you know, really in the hands of the quarterback to, uh, you know, if, if he thought that Tyreek would have a shot on the um, slot fade to adjust his route. So it was something, it was part of the play that um, I was well aware that we were going to do. So it was something that we'd kind of planned to have that option. Um, but it's it's up to Tua to recognize the appropriate time. Um, I think we can all say that that was the appropriate time, right? And then, uh, and then deliver a ball. So you're talking about command of um, really the game um, what's going on? When to when to be aggressive? When not to? You know, I uh, it didn't surprise me, um, but you know, I think that this was something that really the whole team knew too was going to come out and have a day like this um, with the with the way that he operates and um, the way he'd been frustrated, turned the ball over. So um, to to be that aggressive while having that. Um, you know that burden of frustration um, is exactly what you, you hope for with your with your starting quarterback. We have to um, learn from things and have lessons, scars, and and you know the the connection between Tua and Tyreek um, uh, in terms of two players playing together is about as good as I've ever been around. Um, hence, hence their the the some of the plays they're able to make each and every week. And then you know, the the second touchdown was it was he threw it to the right spot. Um and it wasn't the exact coverage that we planned on on doing that, but the the depth perception that Tua has down the field is pretty rare. So he can really feel when a when a post safety is um not at the depth they they need to be. And for him to be able to do that um, under a, a hair of duress is um, why why he's he's doing some special stuff on on the football field. So you know I think the 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 leaders of this team um, you know responding to or uh, going out there at the beginning of the game and uh, you know kind of uh, taking the taking the reins of what type of game it would be. Um, had a substantial effect on the entire team, and that, in, in conjunction with the third, uh, the uh, stops the defense was getting, um, uh, really put us in an advantageous situation. It's insane. There's not usually, um, you know, sp specifically for really fast guys. You know, um, it's something that Tyreek's always been very adept at. But to, uh, you know, just just think of it this way. Um, in the heat of battle, you see the ball, and then you just turn away from it and try to find it again. You know, that that is um, very, very difficult. He makes it look super easy. Um, but that, that you know, that ability is, is – there's few and far between that are able to make that play down the field, um, wide open or not. So um, Tua knows that. And he knows that if he puts it far enough, sometimes that, you know, you know, Tiger has done that several times in practice before, um, but not the, the fact that it was in stride makes it even even more impressive of a catch, because a lot of times when guys go blind to the ball, they make a play if they can if it's stopping stopping them and hitting them in the stomach um, to go Willie Mays on it is pretty impressive. Well, I think they're 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 both tremendous players, um, and and my thing is is like they I think they're tremendous players that can make plays on their own for sure um, without. But together, the the important thing for this team is you know that that you're seeing the best selves of both players while playing together. So I think that's for me. Um, the way I, I, I know they're elite players, but, um, you know, 
working together, they're they're finding, um, you know, two is able to be su- super aggressive in certain windows because he trusts um, what Tyreek's going to do. Tyreek's able to be super aggressive because he trusts to his field vision and knows that um, if he's putting a ball up in the air a little bit over the middle um, to just track it and catch it because that can lead him in hard, harm's way. So uh, the the aggressiveness they are or they, they play with um, is is very unique and just uh, you know their their ability to uh, make plays together that other people um, can't I think is 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 why they're they're is the result of both of their numbers it's they're they're independently awesome um, but together they're even better yeah I mean it 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 makes. I, I like this team um, is you know obviously within this franchise, um, but the history has nothing to do with this team. Um, I think it says a lot about uh, where this team has grown from last year. Um, if you take a look at our twelfth uh, game um, last year versus this year, uh, you know I think the. We we talk about it a lot, um, but talk is just talk. What what I've seen is coaches and players fully commit to the idea of getting better, and it says a lot about the team because everything that you see um, last week, this week, um, is an accumulation of deliberate intent, um, and guys are getting better at their craft. So we're we're able to. Um, uh, you know, you're seeing it on both. You know, really in all three phases, um, there's there's a lot of growth, and I think that is um, imperative if you're trying to win games down the stretch. And um, you know, when when you have the choice of um, winning or the season being over um, in that area of the season, um, that comes regardless of uh, what team you are. Uh, it gives you a chance to um, to to really to utilize the entire season of growth um, and and do something special that everyone wants to do. So, you know, I think um, the one thing that I, that I really feel from the team and what makes me so happy to come to work and so confident on Sundays is our this team doesn't care uh, who we're playing. There, it doesn't have uh, it. It does not have an effect on how they prep. And I know um, through experience that those residuals um, are, are, are paramount, huge, um, and, and dictates how your season goes at the end of it. Um, so don't really know. Um, I, I, do, I do know Tehran was still available. Um, so that kind of uh, gives you the severity of it um, to to what that looks like for this next week. Um, I'll, I'll need more time for that. And then um, Jerome's the, 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 same, the same thing. I, I don't um, – it's really early. Uh, the vibe that I have is that it's not um, season-ending, but we need to uh, – you know, it's gonna, we need to really evaluate that in the next couple of days. Yep, he did. He did. Um, not, not to the degree that the injury um, – that he originally had was, um, but it was a re-aggravation. Um, the severity of that time will tell. Yeah, yeah, no, it was, um, that's something that, uh, you know, when you, when you have on the front end of the season um, some uh, large st- statistical outputs, you get kind of used to team, team to team. You kind of um, end up seeing a little bit something different than, you prepare for, um, and and so we're well versed in that. However, uh, you know we kind of expected that um, with the the changes that went on. Uh, it was, uh, you know, I, I'd seen their defenses, um, each of their defenses before, but knowing which ones they're going to employ and kind of they're they're a little more consistent than than usual. I thought they I thought they did a good job. 
um, you know, took took us, got comfortable with what we were seeing, um, and you know, probably one of the the most proud moments of the of the entire game was that last series where you could see the accumulation of kind of understanding um, how and what they were being defended by to to put that thirteen play drive together um, was pretty cool because it was hard to do that, which is a credit to their defense. Phenomenal! It was awesome. It was knowing knowing the situation. Um, you know that's a that's a critical critical and allowing players to play aggressive is the preparation that you know is on on the shoulders of the coaches. And I thought um, when you have people uh, when you have players that are prepared and locked in and know what the opponent's trying to do, um, you know to be able to to be able to aggressively um, get in that screen lane is is one thing and then on top of that to for it not to be a PBU or a batted ball but a, a, a catch and a you know it's a it's a huge momentum swing it's a huge play in the game but my favorite part of that play is that it's not just showing up on Sunday that that was um, stuff that we saw in practice and they talk situational football or you know, series start, um, earns down, all, all of the different things that you, you can kind of get a beat on stuff and then shoot your guns when you um, when, when you have conviction that of preparation. Absolutely, and I think they did. Um, I think they did enough to make uh, Jalen smile, which is um, which uh, you know is important to them. This is a very tight group that doesn't just live in their own experience that that really um shares the journey of each other and each individual teammate knowing um the disappointment you know i don't think they they wanted anything to do with um you know letting Jalen down um to you know because that 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 this team and the and the organization is extremely important to Jalen. he's a big part of um, what we're trying to do here, so they they took ownership of that and um, made sure to uh, to match what he does, which is a lot. No, I think um, I, I think you uh, you know we already had um, Jalen Waddle, and you know speed is something that 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 throughout my career has been very beneficial to to what we've been able to do, and then. When you get the opportunity to trade for um, one of the best players in the National Football League, you know, uh, from an organizational standpoint, I was really proud of the fact that we didn't blink at all and did what we had to do to do that. And then um, you, you kind of just lean into that. And you know, I've always looked at um, football and offense as a very uh, fluid, um, you know, kind of schematic thing where you're uh, adjusting to what your players are good at so um the the offense it wasn't really planned um that way i didn't i didn't really have any hard plans on what it was going to be i have some philosophical beliefs in certain things but um you know the we we it's it's easy um when you've been fortunate enough to be around a lot of different players and and different scenarios um, when you you have speed like that, you try to use it to the best of your ability and make defenses defend the entire field, which is a space creator and very helpful for us.